Welcome back to the channel, guys. Another variant video. Of course, this week is the recap. We're doing back to back to back. Yesterday, I gave you guys an awesome look into the March variants. Today, I'm giving you guys a recap of all the variants that came out this week that I acquired as well as it splits. And then of course, tomorrow, make sure you guys are back to see what new variants are coming out the following week. Now, stick around till the end of the video because of course I have a giveaway and I will tell you guys how to enter that giveaway at the end. All right, so let's take a look and see what I did acquire and what splits we got. Starting off, of course, with the number one card at the top, it was Leech. Now, um, yeah, so like I said before, this variant this pixel variant will upset everyone that lose to it because of the way it looks we did split the pixel leech one time this is how it looks animated as we said there's a, not a lot to work with in the animation department we did split it one time and we end up getting a gold back leech with the white glimmer flare um yeah this is one of my best looking pixels right after killmonger and galactus so uh that was awesome <laughs> Next on the list, we have Howard the Duck, which is one of the best Howard the Duck variants. I think it is the best right next to Noir, which I like a lot. Um, wow. The Infinity Gauntlet variant of Howard the Duck. This is super awesome. Found out he is stepping on um, Adam Warlock. So shout out to you guys in the comments that left that below. Thank you for letting me know. But this is awesome. What a wicked Howard the Duck. If you guys don't have it, we still got time to do it, guys. Get this Howard the Duck variant. It is flawless. Now, this is the one that I like a lot, but definitely this one is the best. Then, of course, next we have the Chibi version of Orca. Uh, we did say that the chain links will be the one that's animated. So I think we, we got this right on the nose. Um, do like the variant. Do like the card, especially now going up against a ton of Thanos and Blob. I think this is a great card to get in your collection, especially if you like Chibi variants. Then we have the comic book back Bronze Age variant of Werewolf by Night. So like we said, we know the background, the sky was going to move around, but we were hoping for a little bit more animation for the things in the background, which is not a problem. I love the 3D effect. I love the pop out. I love the, you know, of course, the comic book back. I can't wait to get all these cards and make a card list out of it. So again, this is the Werewolf by Night and what it looks like. Now we did get a split and the split was this. Nothing too crazy, but it is a foil finish with blue glimmer flare. So this is the split that we got on this variant. And of course we got the new card, the variant of Hercules, the planet Hawk variant. Now I definitely enjoy this variant. This is the one I use to climb to infinite with. Um, that's correct guys. I went from 80 to infinite with the Hercules card list. Definitely check out the link down below. I'll have the video there. Um, this variant is awesome. We did mention the background. We knew we was going to see some type of animation there. The glowing on his, his outfit. We said that was going to happen as well. Uh, we thought something more with this, but nonetheless, this variant is awesome. So if you guys did pick up Hercules, definitely try to get the variant. But I'm telling this right now, it's not worth your 6K tokens. Hercules is a cool card. I'm assuming it will get buff in the near future, maybe to a three or two either way i think hercules is an okay card we got to infinite with it by using a move package again i'll leave more of that down in the description below then of course we had the kings of the castle bundle starting with odin variant this variant is super awesome we did say that the background was going to move uh, we did get this phenomenal split here um after i believe one split that's correct after one split we got the gold finish with the purple star does flare um the electricity in his hand i definitely like this a lot here's what it looks like without any splits um it is kind of a gold background but definitely the colors are perfect with it but yes, definitely enjoy this awesome variant and split. For those who don't come by the stream, we did give away um, three of these bundles to my Twitch subscribers. So guys, if you guys have a Twitch account, you use Twitch and you're around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, definitely come in the stream, might get lucky enough to win one of these awesome bundles. And of course we have the Doom variant as part of the bundle. We got the gold finish with the blue glimmer flare. So we kept it with the blue border. Um, of course, if you guys feel I should upgrade this to a gold board or even an infinity split, leave a comment down below. If we get enough comments, I will definitely upgrade this card and show it off on tomorrow's video. Then in the shop, of course, was the Miles Morales Spider-Man variant from Kiel. Again, this variant is 
perfect. We did say we we're going to see a bunch of animation in the background. We did get a gold finish with a black tone flare on its first split. Let's take a look at it right here. This is what it looks like normally. We did say we will see the lights. We did see the clothes waving in the air as he's swinging through the air. I think this is an amazing variant and I'm happy for the split that we did get. Then to round things off at the end, we have the Ink Pulp variant bundle, which had both Mojo and Invisible Woman. Here is the Mojo variant. We did mention that we're going to see stuff on the body move, which is what we have here. Nothing crazy, not too much animation. Don't have a lot of Mojo splits. We did end up splitting this variant and getting this awesome prism finish with a red glimmer flare. But look how devious he looks we did say that's what's going to happen and this is an awesome variant if you guys ever got that bundle time is still on there and you need a mojo variant this is the way to go then of course i could not end the show with any better variant but the thick invisible woman from ink pulp um this variant is awesome we did say we're going to see the things in the background like the you know um swirling we're going to see the hands but this split that we got this perfect split off of one split which turned it to a ink finish with the purple stardust flare i left it with a purple border it maybe might look good with an infinity border you guys again comment down below what you think i should do if we get enough comments i will split it and of course show it off in tomorrow's video but this is what it looks like normally with the infinity border with the color i think this is an awesome invisible woman variant uh, my favorite one is still the peach momoka variant here but of course if you didn't get a chance to get this variant and you want to get an awesome invisible woman variant this is the way to go shout out to ink pulp and all the other artists that are putting out these amazing variants week to week now how do you guys enter the bundle giveaway very simple i'm going to have the video of yesterday's video in the corner somewhere here or in the link down below click on it and if you watch that video pick your favorite variant and comment down below in that video let me know which one you like the most and i will put you in the raffle to get a chance to win the bundle now what bundle that is you'll find that on tomorrow's episode when i go over the variants for this week upcoming all right guys peace